I'm going to review this book, Witchery Embrace the Witch Within. It was far better than I expected it to be. I enjoyed it quite a lot. The cover looks attractive. The um, book really doesn't have a high um, price tag on it. It's 20 bucks or something like that. I got it from the public library, so it was even cheaper than that for me. And um, I'll show you. So, page 23, there's a bath spell for banishing the ghosts within. And I don't know why anybody would want to um, banish their old self or something. But anyway, um, I think it's good to learn from your mistakes and just grow. That's what life's all about. But um, I was looking at this recipe and I'm like, hmm. I wonder if I could do something with that. Like I was thinking, well, if you follow on, this isn't all you, what you need. There's more because they, uh, the later on you need um, a cup of Himalayan pink salt, and then you also uh, need. Oh, what was it? You could choose like two handfuls of various flower types or whatever, and. Uh, rosemary or something like that right but I noticed that there's already rosemary in this recipe so I just amped up the rosemary and I um, even though I, I show you I put that in here right now I did not put it in the recipe so take it out right now because that I'm not going to use this um, even though it's in the recipe I don't want to banish the ghost within myself and so I did this bath spell last night as just a bath and uh, as it turns out, it's the full moon. So, well, tonight. So you can read into that however you want. But um, I just looked at the recipe and I thought, hmm, this might make a good bath. And I did not put the honey in there. But I'll tell you what I did do. So I basically followed the recipe. But um, I put the salt all together in here. And that's a pouch full of rosemary. And that's a pouch full of... Um, Oh, what do you call it? Um, lavender with a little bit of bergamot, which I picked while hiking earlier this year when it was blooming. And um, so the lavender, I was just, I buy it from Bulk Barn. So I'll tell you what I, I have learned while reading these various witchery books. Um, I've uh, I've learned to save my whatever, like the pulp from the juicer or peel, stuff like that. And it makes great incense. So if I'm doing a barbecue, and uh, why not use this? I mean, I would have used these cinnamon sticks to um, make probably apple cider or something like that, like juice, the um, apple juice heated up with cinnamon. To drink because it's apple season and that's a wonderful use for it so um, and then just dry it out in the oven again and um, in this case I had some actual garlic cloves that dried out so I put that in there and when I have a fire pit I can throw this stuff on and and I mean if I wanted to make some sort of spell whatever but um, or I could just enjoy the smell of cinnamon sticks and lemon peels and stuff like that. So, um, but anyway, what else would I add to this? Well, the spell did say call for garlic, and I thought, well, okay. So, um, I'd read in a Chatelaine magazine years ago, I don't know, decade ago, more, about garlic and how there and onions and the peels are medicinal too. So there's, I can't see any reason to do some sort of a bath spell. I'm going to be straining this out. So what I did is I just took the peels off and I took the, you know, the bottom stuff that, anyway, um, off of there too. And just, I minced up the cloves. And since I'm having a bath, I know that it's going to be a hot bath and I will sweat so 
I minced up the cloves and then let them sit for five minutes while I was juicing my lemon and um, then I ate the garlic cloves and I uh, anyway so while after I was juicing my lemon I made hot lemon and honey so I have my honey here from the recipe but I made hot lemon and honey with it so with the juice so and the honey and I put that inside my oven because my oven stays very hot and in here I have my rosemary and other things drying out from last night's bath so then I can and they it smells great in there so it's still acting like an incense in my house because it's in my oven drying out and then I'll put it in here and then I can burn it with the barbecue and it'll smell great so um, once I got done making my lemon and honey I took the pulp from my lemon and put it into the pot so then I um, turned on the I put boiled or I also cleaned out the juicer like uh, ran water around the um, machinery of the juicer to clean out everything to get all the lemon pulp and stuff out so now my juicers clean so wonderful and uh, so I put water in here and I heated that up and put the I put the lid on the copper pot and I simmered it anyway and uh, then I started running my bath and uh, so this simmered as long as my bath was running so I don't know how long it took me to run my bath maybe five minutes and this was simmering and uh, then I strained it into the bath and my bath smelled amazing and it was the most relaxing bath ever and my hair is so soft and um, then I used my bath water to clean all my countertops and my floors and my door frames and my deck floor everything I cleaned all sorts of things with the water from the bath because I have the salt in it the Himalayan pink salt I can't use it on my plants because that would kill my plants but um, yeah so anyway once I got done my bath I drank my hot lemon and honey and um, so what I was going to say about this is if you want to do a spell um, and follow that whatever and the book was really enjoyable she has a master's of uh, science in herbal medicine so she's actually pretty knowledgeable and um, for the most part the recipes make kind of sense and and I thought that the garlic would be stinky and well it would be sweating out of my pores anyway from me eating the garlic but um, and I can't understand why anybody would put the juice and waste cloves when you can get the medicinal stuff just from the pulp and whatever and it smells great from and actually drink the juice and eat the garlic cloves so anyway um, but what I was thinking when I did this is the kids will be back to school when is it the tomorrow the day after tomorrow I think it is right and so we have a full moon here and some people might be interested in doing some little witchy spell or something to try to protect themselves from COVID or protect their children from COVID given that they're going back to school or whatever and I'm not suggesting that um, people do that and they're going to be safe from COVID but um, some people might believe that and whatever all the power to them I hope all the best for them but I had a wonderful relaxing bath and I got a lot of cleaning done and honestly I channeled my dad I have been drawing this picture of my dad and it's gotten better but it still doesn't look like my dad um, and uh, if you happen to have a parent who was OCD or something like that channel their energy and uh, get some cleaning done and this smelled amazing when I cleaned the house with it and I mean the rosemary drying in the oven still smells great too but it was actually a pleasure doing the cleaning because it smelled so good and why have harsh chemicals that you're cleaning with you know and um, as long as you don't have COVID in your house yet then 
just keep clean and try to plan for oh wait did this take me a long time cleaning with the um, rosemary and lemon and salt stuff uh, then maybe I need to make my house more streamlined so that it's easier to clean with actual um, disinfectant which will kill the COVID virus just to, you know anyway so I just thought I would review this little thing because this was wonderful cleaning stuff and it was wonderful relaxing stuff for my bath and um, I'd highly recommend uh, this recipe for a nice bath and a nice cleaning stuff.